Hi guys, welcome back to Glitterati. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the last couple of videos that we put up. We had a lot of fun making them and we're going to start posting a lot more often so keep an eye out on our channel. At the minute I'm down in Enniskillen for my granny's surprise idiot. So the lighting's pretty shit so I'm sorry. Um, this is just a smoked out eye pretty standard for what I do. I would do this quite a lot whenever I'm going out. I will list all the products below and everything that I used and again I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay so first of all I'm going in with my MAC Vino pencil and just using this as a base to make the colour that I'm going to apply really bright and last the whole night basically. A base is really important whenever you're doing a look like this to make sure that you get the full colour payoff from the shadow that you're going to use. Next I'm going in with my Zoeva 237 detail shader and I'm just blending out that pencil and dragging it out a little to the side of my eye just to give it that lifted effect. Make sure you don't drop your eyeshadows. Then I'm going in with Sugar Pill Dolly Pop and using as we have a 231 Luxe Petite Crease just to go over the top of the pencil and um, solidify the colour I suppose, just to make it really bright. I um, absolutely love these eyeshadows, the only problem is they stain slightly but it means that you get a really good colour payoff from them. And that's how it should look. Then I'm using Makeup Geek Frappe um, eyeshadow and a MAC 224 large fluffy blending brush just to soften out the edges and um, kind of a transition colour for underneath your eye. And then using the same brush and eyeshadow and just going into the crease then and just creating a bit of depth with that. Make sure you don't poke yourself in the eye as well. Normally not a good idea. Then I'm using my Zoeva 227 Soft Definer Brush and Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear Eyeshadow and just going in and deepening the crease slightly more and um, just make it a little bit darker. I'm so bad at these voiceovers. Then I'm using again my MAC 224 Large Fluffy Blender and I'm um, just going in and softening out where I've put in the Cocoa Bear Eyeshadow. Um, just to blend it all together. Then I'm using my Zoeva 225 Eye Blender and Makeup Geek Bada Bing and just going in in the outer corner then of my crease just to really, really deepen that in. Back in with the 227 Soft Definer then and just softening that out. Then I'm going back in with my Zoeva 231 brush and just applying a little bit more of the Sugar Pill Dolly Pop just to brighten up that colour again and going back in with the MAC 224 just to make sure everything's nicely blended. And it should look something a little like this. This is a genuine FML moment. Then I'm using Kevin uh, Kwan Skin Enhancer in SX02 and my Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer. Just apply that underneath my eyes, um, above my jawline, my forehead, my chin and just down the bridge of my nose. Um, can use it as a bit of a colour corrector and also just to brighten up my skin. Then I'm using Black Opal in Beautiful Bronze and my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. I um, use this for contour. Just put that in the holes of my cheeks, underneath my jaw and across my forehead. Then just use my finger to make sure everything's nicely blended together. Then I use my Beauty Blender and go over everything with my L'Oreal Infallible Matte 24 hour uh, foundation in sand and just cover absolutely everything on my face and that'll really give it a nice flawless finish then. Then using my Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC in NC20, I just put that underneath my eyes, basically everywhere where I put the Kevin Kwan as well, um, just to brighten it up over the top of the concealer and make sure that everything is as smooth as it can be.
Then I'm going in with my Zueva 129 Lux Fan Brush and um, MAC Soft and Dental. Absolute favourite highlighter in the world, can't beat it in my opinion. Um, just along the tops of my cheekbones, um, above my jawline, Cupid's bow um, on my chin, down the centre of my nose and then just a little bit on my forehead as well. Then I'm using Estee Lauder Translucent Loose Powder in 01, um, my beauty blender, just everywhere where I have highlighted then and I'm using that to bake. While I am waiting on that all baking in, um, I go in and do my lips then. I was in a bit of a rush so I didn't really have time to sit about and wait for that to all cook into my skin so I did this. Um, I'm using Rimmel Black Brown Eyebrow Pencil. I like that it's quite an ashy colour and it just goes well for the, the look that I wanted to go. Um, I just use that on the outer line of my lips and then in the corners and going over that with MAC Matte Yash Lipstick then. Then I'm using a little lip brush. I actually got this brush from Minx Pro. It's a studio that I work in. Um, hopefully the guys are going to be stocking these brushes in very, very soon. They're very similar to Smith brushes, if you're familiar with them. Um, once they're up, they will be posted on the Facebook page. So go check those guys out and stay up to date with all of that. Then I'm using my Care Daily Flat Concealer Brush and MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC20 just to go over any mistakes and just sharpen up the edges of my lips then. Then I'm just going back in with the Rimmel Pencil just to darken everything up again. Using an Eco Tools Fluffy Brush, these don't seem to have names on them. Um, I'm just going in and dusting off all the excess then from bacon basically. Um, again, another brush from my set from Minx Pro. Um, you can use any large fluffy brush and I'm going in with the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer and just give my face a bit of colour then and making it look less pale basically. Uh, to contour then, I'm going in with Inglot HD Sculpt and Powder, um, a mixture of that and Anastasia Beverly Hills Java and Fawn and again a little contour brush from my brush set from Minx Pro. Just going over everywhere where we cream contour just to really bring that out then. I do like quite a bit of contour and um, it's maybe too much for some people. If you don't like contour then you can just tone it down and apply less product. Again, not a big fan of blushers, so just going in with what's on my brush and just in the apples of my cheeks. Applying a little bit of mascara to let that dry before I apply my lashes. And then going back in just to tidy everything up with my eyes with the Zoeva 227 Soft Definer and then just once more over with the Zoeva 231 and a little bit of eyeshadow on my brush just to brighten everything up again. My mum decided that she wanted to say hi. <laughs> Then going in with my lashes from Minx Pro, these are the Karen lashes, um, cannot beat the lashes from Minx Pro, they're my absolute favourite, I have Karen and I have Glen Coco, um, I definitely recommend investing in a pair of these, they will change your life. Mascara on my bottom lashes and soak my face in Fix Plus. And that's the finished look, I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll see you soon, bye!